Hello, so this is Dylan, and I am coming to you Monday night, although I'll be posting this on Wednesday. I have to, I work two jobs tomorrow and nanny in the morning, and do the scrapbook store at night, and then I do two shifts on Wednesday at the scrapbook store, so I open and close, so I don't really have time to do it then. So, um, I watched JT's video this morning, however, I won't be able to watch Tuesday before I make this. Um, this week's topic is age. So, kind of like last week, um, why is it that genderqueer people tend to fit um, a certain, uh, what is that called? Man, I've only been out of school for, like, half a semester. Archetype. What? <laughs> Why is it that it seems that gender people, gender queer people fit a certain archetype? Mainly, um, we talked about gender, or sex rather, last week, and then this week we are talking about age, and I think maybe sometime soon we'll talk about race. Um, it seems that gender queer people are, tend to be younger, in their 20s. Um, and I think that is true for everybody on this channel. Um, I happen to be 25, so smack dab in the middle of my 20s, and why do I think this is? I made a note card, but I lost it, so I fail. Hold on, I'm gonna go find it. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I am back with my note card. Um, okay, so this might be a stretch, but is it possible that youth have more freedom than youth? I mean, I don't consider myself a youth, but I am a younger person. And is it possible that I have more freedom in my 20s than I will in my 30s due to the need to raise a family and start a life. I mean, right now it's only me and I can pretty much dress and act the way that I want to. But what if in some places being genderqueer makes you a second class citizen? What if, if you're not, you know, if you're not in an academic field or some sort of liberal field, you get discriminated against and not hired, and you have to kind of play that down. What if, um, what if I lived somewhere and kept applying for jobs, and then realized that maybe if I started wearing earrings, or I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know what it would do to be less queer, but what if, what if that affected me, and I gave up my genderqueer identity, um, or never fully developed it because I wasn't free to express that because I had to survive. Um, so did that make sense? I think that made sense. Basically, maybe younger people are genderqueer because they have more space to move around because they have less to lose. Um, or maybe also, um, I mean, this is a new generation and people weren't as free a uh, generation before us as they are now. Um, I made a video on my personal channel, um, and basically talking about how my father is reacting or, I don't know, to my name change and he's pretty angry, but like, if this was a generation ago, I don't think I could even bring up the fact that I wanted to change my name to a typically masculine name. So, it's all about freedom, um, and having kind of a choice, right? Okay. This is another thought that I had, and I wrote this down, so I'm just going to read it. I wrote, uh, 
Does it become less important over time to define one's gender? Um, similarly, does it become more important to define oneself through actions and labels as one ages? Or through actions, not labels, as one ages? Um, my answer to that would be, I don't know. I don't think so, though. Because if that were the case, if it were less important to, um, define one's gender as we grew older, then there wouldn't be people who came out as trans or genderqueer later in life, correct? I think so. And then, ugh, the labels not actions thing, I don't even know where I was going with that, but it is an interesting question. I mean, <sighs> that's a whole nother question for a whole nother week, isn't it? I, I blame GT, I blame JT for this random video, because if JT hadn't rambled, maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm so just kidding. But, um, I think I made my points, and I hope that's enough for you guys. I have been talking for way too long. I'm gonna do this video over. Yes. Yes, I am. No, I'm not, because I'm tired. Yes, you are, because you should.